Since Nick Chubb has come to the league, he's been one of the best pure rushers we have seen since 2018. He's averaged over five yards per carry. But the one thing that's always been kind of elusive to him has been his involvement in the passing game. I think that's going to change this year. That's why I think that he is uh, set up to be a top five running back in 2023. We're going to talk about all that and more in his 2023 fantasy outlook. Let's go. Welcome back in. Welcome back in. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So Nick Chubb's ADP currently is RB7 or 18th overall in PPR formats. Last season, he was very good. 64.4% of the opportunity, 7.3% target share last year, but he averaged 17.8 carries, but only 2.2 targets per game. Last season, he had over 1,500 rushing yards, 239 receiving yards, 13 touchdowns, and 16.6 fantasy points per game, which was sixth most. Uh, he was very efficient, first innovative tackles. He was sixth in yards after contact per attempt per PFF, and he was first in breakaway run rate and 18th in yards created per touch. Now, we do have a little bit of changes to this offense this year. Kareem Hunt is gone. That's a big-time win for Nick Chubb. And Dearness Johnson is also gone as well. Uh, they do still have Jerome Ford there. So there's really not a whole lot behind Nick Chubb at this point to really vulture touches away from him. Kareem Hunt vacates 123 carries and 44 targets. He also uh, That is also 29 red zone touches and four goal line carries. To out the door as well you know last season Nick Chubb had 42 red zone touches and nine goal line carries and so I think everything is kind of aligned this year to really kind of be the perfect season for Nick Chubb as long as he can stay healthy which is something he's he's done a pretty good job for the most part he has you know missed a few games here and there but overall I just think Nick Chubb's in a fantastic spot this year uh, Kevin Stefanski's come out and talked about how they want to get Nick Chubb more involved in the passing game he's a capable pass catcher especially now with Kareem Hunt gone and that's kind of always been the thing that's held him back. He's always been, you know, like I've said, one of the best pure runners we've seen in the league. But it's just they've never really given him pass catching involvement because of Kareem Hunt there. Now, I don't think it's crazy to think that he could see definitely more than the 49 that he saw in 2019, which is career high. I think, you know, he could he could reach 60, 65, maybe even 70 targets this year in this offense. I think Deshaun Watson is going to take a big step forward this year. I just think this offense is going to be better in general. Uh, and, you know, Amari Cooper is still there. They also brought in Cedric Tillman in the draft uh, here in this offense. And Donovan Peoples-Jones is also still here with uh, to go along with David uh, Njoku. So there are pieces to this offense that I really like. And I think this offense is going to be a little bit undervalued outside of Nick Chubb. But Nick Chubb is still the engine that's going to make this offense go. And he's going to see all of the opportunities, especially at the goal line. And, you know, with an added bonus of this pass-catching work, I think that's where he finally gets over the hump and finishes as a top five running back in 2023. It's exactly what you should be looking for in any draft. Uh, it, are these guys that, that possess this sort of upside? No, he doesn't have Christian McCaffrey or Austin Eckler type upside in terms of targets. But if he can get you 50, 60 targets, like I definitely think it's pot range of possibility that he could see 15 to 18 touchdowns this year. He had 13 last year in an offense that was pretty stagnant for a lot, large partial portion of last year. So Overall, I just love Nick Chubb. I think he is a great option if you want to go early round wide receiver. You know, if especially if you have that the 105, the 106, you know, grabbing somebody like a possible Cooper Cup who could be sitting there or a Tyree Kill, and then going in the second round and grabbing Nick Chubb. I think that is a fantastic start. Go to the third round, grab Ramondre Stevenson, and it is wheels up for you in 2023. Well, great start there. Uh, I'm all in on Nick Chubb. I, you know, right now I think people are are probably, if you're just now tuning in to kind of some fantasy football coverage, you know, right now we're seeing this big shift where we have all these wide receivers going in the first round. You know, ADP in terms of PPR right now, you have eight wide receivers going in the first round, plus Travis Kelsey, only three running backs being drafted in the first round right now, and that's Christian McCaffrey, B. John Robinson, and Austin Eckler. Uh, you know, we'll see if things shift here, but Overall, it's just a great opportunity here for Nick Chubb. He obviously also runs behind one of the best offensive lines in the league. Last year, the offensive line was 14th in adjusted line yards. They were first and second level rank, 11th in open field. PFF ranked them 7th in terms of pass blocking and 8th in terms of run blocking. So he's running behind one of the best offensive lines in the league. So it's just check, 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 check. Everything you could be looking for in a workhorse for, uh, back uh, is, is what Nick Chubb is going to bring to the table. And so they don't bring anything else in. It's Nick Chubb to the moon, baby. Uh, finally, uh, here for Nick Chubb. He's always been one of my favorite players since he's come in the league. And 
I think that his time is now, and he is going to finish as a top five running back. I think even top three running back in 2023. Let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts about Nick Chubb this year? Uh, what are you looking to do with him? Where are you looking to draft him? Um, and are you buying some of the hype that's coming around him right now? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you can help us out. It really helps us grow. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.